Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Long Time No See. Back at it again with another video. Hey! Oh, fuck. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing my vegan skincare routine. Now, a little disclaimer, I'm not vegan anymore. I was vegan for about two months, but... For the sake of my sanity, <laughs> I had to become vegetarian because I missed cheese so much. But anyways, yeah, today I'll be showing you guys my skincare routine. Now, disclaimer, I'm not saying I have like the perfect skin or I'm like the perfect vegetarian. Not at all, honestly. Like two of these face masks that I use aren't even vegan, but they are cruelty free. So, I mean, that counts as something, right? But anyways, let's just go ahead and get right into the video. All right, first I have this Rose Kombucha Flower Powdered Face Wash. It's from the brand Pacifica. I discovered it at Target and girl, sis, let me tell you, sis, this got my life together. It's, it's rose water. Um, fermented tea and it has so many antioxidants in here. It's a hundred percent vegan and cruelty free so A plus for me. You first put it on and get your face wet. It does foam up and I love foaming washes. It's for all skin skin types but for me I have normal to dry skin so this is very hydrating as well and it just leaves your face feeling so soft and dewy and not only does it obviously exfoliate and everything like that. It removes your makeup as well, which is an A+. So if you haven't already, please go out to your local Target. I'm going to check online and see if they have it as well and probably link it down below. And yeah, it's just rose water face wash. They also have like coconut and all these other types and it's it's just, it's, it's amazing, okay? It's, it's amazing. All right, next up we have the Wake Up Beautiful Super Hydration Sleepover Mask by Pacifica as well. It has floral cells, kiwa, and mushrooms, and it's for dry and combination skin, skin types. And obviously, again, it's 100% vegan and cruelty-free. Now this right here is my little baby. I use it every night. I'm not sure if you're supposed to use overnight masks every night, but I personally do just because I struggle with dry skin and it works for me now if you don't struggle with dry skin then obviously you know use it every other night but again this doesn't leave your face feeling like really oily it doesn't leave a cast or anything like that so what i do is initially when i wash my face sometimes i'll do my face mask sometimes i won't i wash my face apply my oil which i'll show you and then after my oil i kind of use this as like a but not like a base, but I kind of use this to like keep everything in while I sleep. And again, it's amazing. It leaves my face feeling so hydrated for honestly for the rest of the week. I don't need to use this every night, but again, I choose to. And yeah, it's just, it's so good. I really, really do love this brand. I love for what it stands for, obviously, because I'm vegetarian, but it's such an amazing drugstore. I, Brand, I was honestly shook. Like, I would think this was be sold at like Sephora or something, but it's not. It's so good right at your local Target. I'm going to check and see if they have a website as well, but I really believe you guys should check out this brand. It is so, so good. All right, and the last thing from the Pacifica brand are their rose water makeup removing wipes. It has rose water and coconut water, and it comes with, I believe, 30, 30 or 60. I believe it's 30 makeup wipes. Oh my gosh. This stuff changed my life. Like, I used to just wash my face with soap. I know it's so gross, but yes, I would just wash off my makeup with soap, go in with like some clean and clear, and like thought my face was clean. And now, sweetheart. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I first start with this, and then obviously wipe off all my makeup. And what this didn't get the rose kombucha face wash will so these two together are obviously my favorite because i love rose water but let's get into the oil all right obviously right after i wash my face and cleanse i um, put oil all over my face now if you use coconut oil on your face 
we need to talk. If you use coconut oil on your face, I'm not coming at you. If it works for you, then go ahead, sis. Keep doing what you're doing. But just so you know, coconut oil does not penetrate the skin. Anyways, I mixed um, vitamin E oil, jojoba oil, almond oil, and a few other ones in this little thing right here. You can use lavender oil, whatever essential oils that you want to use on your face. As long as you do your research, always do your research first because... Not all skin types can handle certain oils, but for me, I really, really, really like vitamin E oil because it helps like under my eyes. I love jojoba oil not only on my face, but on my, um, but in my hair. And what else? Almond oil is definitely my favorite too. There's grapeseed oil. So there's just so many oils that you can use on your face. It's great. I want to purchase licorice extract eventually as well. So. I just put a few droplets of each in here, mix it all together, put it on my face sometimes twice a day, and sometimes I'll even put a little bit on my face before I do my makeup. Again, it's because I have dry skin, so if you have dry skin, obviously, then do that. And it just helps hydrate my skin, just keep it nice and dewy underneath my foundation, so it's really, really helpful, especially this time of year. And Sometimes I even put a little bit on this, a little bit of this oil on my face, just like bare skin, like when I go to work or something like that, and it just gives me a really youthful glow and just so much hydration that I need, especially this time of year. So if you haven't already, I would really look into putting oils on your face, especially if you're acne prone, your skin's just dry, or even if you have normal skin, I really believe that everyone should use some type of oil on their skin. After the oil, I use a facial mist. Sometimes I'll use the Mario Badescu Rose Water, but I'm out of that right now. So I use the Body Shop Vitamin C Energizing Face Mist. And <laughs> This changed my life as well. It's so good. I use this to set my face um, if I just need a little hydration throughout the day or um, after, you know, I do my skincare routine and it smells so good. It smells like just peaches and oranges and just, mm, it just, I love it so much. Um, I'm not sure, where did I get this from? I didn't get this from Target. I got this on the local base that I live near, um, the military base. This They had that there, but I'm sure you can find this online. I, I feel like Body Shop is sold at Target. I think they are, don't, don't quote me on it, but I believe they do. So I also believe that you should really invest, not even invest, just get you a really good Facial spray, um, Pacifica as well has a really, really nice facial spray. I smelled it. I mean, I don't know how it works, but like I smelled it, and so that's kind of biased, but anyways, they have one as well, and yeah, it just, it fixes your makeup, like, you get pretty much three things in one bottle. You know, you can't beat that, right? All right, my loves, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm watching you guys. You guys better hit that button down below and also hit the bell if you want to get notified every time I upload. I know you want to see my face. But anyways, thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you next week.